New York Pigeons. Go find Jimmy Rollins. Well, there's uh, an added guest for the Yankees right on the railing of their, their dugout, a praying mantis who's become very close friends with Luis Severino, who's given him the cup to stand on, just put a ball there, some seeds, and Severino's been uh, communicating with the praying mantis for the last two or three innings. Mantis is, is dancing. It's, it's great rhythm. Yeah, the awesome. That's... <laughs> Meetings, maybe I know they pass all the SATs. I mean, they know how to steal food. You better watch your hot dog. Look at a red and white checkered uh, napkin, and uh, there we go. Flying off of the goods. Last three games, five for 11, batting 454. And check out this <laughs> we have a squirrel. Crawling up the net behind home plate. I'm not sure. That, yeah, really. The uh, the squirrel and the Phillies and the Cardinals. That's not something we want to talk about. Now he's going to try. He's, oh! Oh! oh I, I, I didn't think that was going to happen. Now he's on the Phillies dugout. Now he's in the Phillies dugout. The players have scattered. I've never quite seen anything like this. <laughs> Aren't you glad you got tonight's game, Bert? Oh my! <laughs> Well, it's definitely not a flying squirrel. No, but it was a falling one. Leslie, are you okay down there? Leslie, get to higher ground. If I you have can hear jumped us. onto higher ground. I am up on the uh, camera platform now. The squirrel ran through the dugout, all fearing for his life. Well, oh it, my. Incoming! Oh my. <laughs> Poor guy. Everybody scattered. That's a cat yeah. squirrel. That's a cat. Remember, here got a member of the grounds crew coming out there to hopefully pick up the cat. There it is. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Stop it! And the 1 0. Is a line drive base hit center field. Coming around third, DeRosa's going to win the ball game. It got by Crisp. Maybe the birds distracted him. And the Indians win it and take the series two out of three. Boy. I don't know that Crisp would have had a shot to throw him out at home plate, Rick. But when he went for the ball, the bird scattered, and it may have distracted him. Well, I'll tell you, it was a bullet. And now you see up the middle. Here's the birds. They fly out of the way. It got a bird. That ball hit the bird, and it went down. It deflected him, so it did. The birds are out here. It hits a bird. He goes down for the count. <laughs> How about that? This one's for the birds. <laughs> and the Indians win. I don't think I've ever seen a game delayed by bees. That's B E E S. Not in the bat either, but Any on the of them are there. They came out and took and a look at that. Jason Hayward is being attacked dealing by with a bee or something. Some uh, insects. Yeah, there's something going on. He. Uh, and now Addison Russell is uh, back pedaling as well. So. Hmm. Oh yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> He's running oh. for cover. Did a game in San Diego a number of years ago where it got so bad they had to clear the field and bring in a uh, a beekeeper. He's like, let's play. I'll be okay. Like, Just let's let's get the inning over so I can get out of here. A lonely bird out there. He's on duck. He's in the on duck circle. That feathered friend. Ducky Medwick. Carlos Martinez trying to earn maybe another all star vote. He's part of the final ballot, right? Yeah. The last man. I think that's I think that's illegal. You're not supposed to uh, to bribe anyone to vote for you. No. Although I don't think the duck has a working email address. Well, the Cardinals right now are feeding that bird. Carlos Martinez trying to curry favor even with the bird to get more votes online. <laughs> For an Affleck trivia question, it was now. Well, duck, duck, done out of here. Now, what are we going to talk about? 
go. There he slashes now. Pop and there's a squirrel that ran right in front of home plate. He saw the squirrel yesterday, and now he's in the stands. So obviously with tickets for each of the first two games <laughs> here in St. Louis. And Oswald now talking to the home plate umpire Angel Hernandez about the uh, distraction this was. Here it is. <laughs> well, fortunately for the squirrel, he's low to the ground, Dick. Back in 2001 in spring training in Tucson, Arizona, Randy Johnson had a similar situation <laughs> with a dove flying in front of home plate. The dove, however, was not as fortunate as the squirrel. And the dove was a lot more peaceful. Odor retired, one away. Fans are buzzing because that pigeon just won't move. <laughs> it's right in front of the second baseman. So here's here's what Cedarstrom looked like. <laughs> this was his second inning of trying to. He, here we go. He's been stalking that bird for about an hour. It didn't look like he did wanted not want any part of touching <laughs> it though. He thought it was like going to fly into his hat and he just carried <laughs> it off. I think that wing is bothering him and he couldn't really fly and so Jeff Bannister got it. There's a cat on the field. Oh kitty. There it comes across. There it is. There kitty 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 kitty. Man he is fast. No doubt. Something about the carnival oh. animals. He gone. <laughs> cat like quickness. <laughs> Where's a squirrel? <laughs> That's I don't St. think Lewis. he's done. <laughs> he's still cruising. Can't see him but just look no. at the reaction of the people. Yes. <laughs> He is fast. He must have landed somewhere. Somebody got him. Nice catch. Whoa. Yeah. That's a big cat, too. Well, at least it wasn't a black cat anyway. No, he's just going to hold the cat, and he's petting the cat. This is a... Calmed him down. Yeah, and we see cats after the game is over. There's a few cats that are, are in the stadium. It's not uh, cat night here at the ballpark. I haven't heard that that was on the promotional schedule tonight. A little bit of... Excitement here at the Big A.